first for local news. Como for news. Continue. Local legend is saying goodbye to something she's loved for almost 50 years. Como for sports director Eric Johnson joins us with the story of one of the great runners of all time. I think you're going to like this lady a lot. Doris Brown Heritage's long journey as one of the premier runners in the world has been an impressive thing. But just as impressive is the way she's handling the fact that it's about to be taken away from her. Old pictures of a young girl on a dirt track, mud splattering, heart pounding, tromping through mud puddles. This was Doris Brown in her prime, doing what she was born to do and loving it the way few people ever get a chance to love anything. Look at her then and look at her now. She spoke about running with such passion back then. I feel quite relaxed when I'm running. Um, problems don't seem to be so important. Uh, you can work things out that don't seem to have answers other times. Her passion has never wavered. I guess I just enjoy, you know, being a part of nature. And that's really what you feel like when you're out running in beautiful places. Uh, it's just kind of a rhythm that has to do with the universe and uh, what you see around you. Doris Brown started running in Gig Harbor when she was 15. She was the first woman to run a sub five minute mile. Running in lane one, this is Doris Brown of the United States. At the 68 Olympic Games, she ran the 800 meters. She preferred longer races, but women couldn't run in longer races back then, at least not in the Olympics. She finished fifth. She won five straight cross country world championships. She broke several world records. And for a time, she was the best female distance runner in the world. You're a veteran of international competition. Do you still get psyched up and excited about these races? Yes, very nervous. You're very nervous right now? <laughs> Doris took this thing she loved so much and built her entire life around it. 71, 2, 3. She's coached runners at SPU for 39 years. See yourself winning now. See yourself winning. This is your good kick, and you do so well on that last hundred. And for 40 years, she's run twice a day, every day. Doris runs the way other people breathe. I just love to run. I expect that maybe, you know, on my grave, it'll say something like, she loved to run. <laughs> but now the cruel twist. Doris is running is about to be taken away. On June 2nd, she will have her hip replaced. She's been told she can never run again. That had to be devastating, though, to hear, to hear that. I feel real fortunate in that. Um, I would think it would be more devastating than it is, but again, I do believe in prayer. And I prayed that I'd been able to make the best of this and that somehow it wouldn't be too hard. And I seem to be, you know, able to think more about my athletes and less about my own experience. And so far, it's going pretty well. <laughs> Nice. Doris will go on coaching. She'll just have to tell him how to do it instead of show him. And she says that on the morning of her surgery, she might go out alone one last time and get her heart pounding and tromp through some mud puddles just for old time's sake. Running is, is real different. It's his own, its own thing. And, uh, you know, food tastes better, uh, feeling the air as it changes through the air and looking around to see what's happening with the weather and everything. That's a real special thing that goes with running. And I'll miss it a lot. She is something else. Now, a few days ago, friends and family got together and they ran what they called Doris's final mile. It wasn't a competitive race, just a chance to celebrate what Doris has meant to running and what running has meant to Doris. She ran her final race the way she ran all the others with that upright, very graceful stride and a lot of style. And it wasn't a sad occasion. There was a lot of laughter and a lot of hugs afterwards. And the thing that's amazing about her, no self-pity at all. She's, she says she's just going to move on to the next phase of her life and find something else. Well, she kept that great smile all these yeah, years, too. Yeah, from the pictures in the yeah. 70s to the pictures now, yeah. it's the same smile. She hasn't changed a whole lot. That's very Thanks, cool. Eric. Thank you. Students in local...